Hello and welcome. And uh, today I want to uh, I want to show you how to install Windows 10 on on VirtualBox. So the first thing I want to do, I want to download VirtualBox and Windows 10. So the first thing it's best to do is to just create a folder. Right click on your desktop, go to New, create a folder, and name it. I named it Windows 10 ISO. You can name it whatever you want. All right. Once that's done. Uh, let's go to uh, let's go to um, Google. So just type. <clears throat> yeah, I'll just open up a new page. I'll go to Google and type virtual box download, and uh, you click on virtual box or Oracle virtual box. Click on Windows hosts, and just go to save as. It's best to save it and don't run it immediately and go search for that folder and put it in there. So I put it, I already downloaded it. All right. So click save when you're done. And next we are going to, um, I want you to Google again. Let me go to google.com and type in um, Windows 10 free trial ISO. So click on that. Let me just close this for now. All right, so click on Windows 10 Enterprise uh, on Microsoft Evaluation Center. So when you click on that, all right, so what we need to do is um, you need the Enterprise. So just click on Continue and just fill in your name and all the information and click on Continue. Now, you need to know if you need uh, a 32-bit or a 64-bit. That's really what's important right now. Uh, when you're downloading the uh, the Windows 10. So to find out what kind, just go down here, uh, go to sh uh, settings, system, go down to about, <clears throat> excuse me, and you'll see I have a 64-bit operating system on a 64-bit processor. So I need to download the 64-bit uh, Windows 10. All right, so, all right, once that's once both of them are downloaded in your folder and you should have them right here, as you can see, here is your Windows 10 and here's your virtual box. Double click on the virtual box and let's install that first. That's the hypervisor that's going to go on top of whatever operating system that you have. All right, so let's go and install that and create. Yes, install and we're going to just let it install. All right, once you open up now uh, VirtualBox, it's been installed. Let's create a virtual machine, a computer uh, for, the, uh, for the Windows 10 that we downloaded. So click on new and uh, we're going to call it, let's just call it Windows 10. All right, Windows 10 64 bit. That's what I'm going to do because that's what I downloaded. You click on next. How much memory do you need to give it? I'm going to give it two, two gigs out of my eight gigs. Uh, we're not going to do a lot. So in fact, I'm going to use a little bit less because we're just doing it for practice. One gig is enough. One gig of RAM is going to be reserved. Okay, so um, hard drive. We are going to create a virtual hard drive. And we are going to create a virtual disk. Just click on Next. We're going to make it dynamically. Click on Next. How much uh, hard drive space? 50 gigs, the minimum requirement is 32. 50 gigs is plenty. We're not going to do a lot of work on it. Just click on create. And now you got your virtual machine. You got a computer with one gigs of RAM and 50 gigs of hard drive reserved for Windows 10. Now we're going to install the ISO file, the DVD that we downloaded from Windows, the enterprise, Windows 10. All right, so make sure this is highlighted. Go to settings. And when you go to settings, let's go in and put in the DVD. And we'll go to storage. And they see the DVD is empty. Just click on it and go right here. Click on the disk and click on choose a virtual the optical disk. And uh, <clears throat> let's go and add a new disk. Click on add. And let's go and find it. Um, Windows 10 ISO. Just double click right here. And let's go find a Windows ISO. There you go. Double click on that. And there it is right here. Click open and click on choose and click on OK. 
and now you've got the DVD in. And once the DVD is in, just click on start. <clears throat> it will start, it will boot up the Windows 10 from the from that folder that we got. All right. Uh, now you can close that. And Windows 10 starts to boot up, and you should go, you should be able to go through all the installation all the way to the end. All right, so you click on next and click install right install now. All right. Let me pause a little bit and go back to see, and I'll come back when this is uh, at any place where I think you need to know more info. Okay, well, just accept the license agreement. Click next. Now, here's what's important. Install, you're not, uh, you're not, you are going to do install, you're not installing an upgrade. So click on advanced and click on next. And that's it. Just wait. Let's wait till it finishes install and I'll get back to you. All right. I just uh, finished. It just finished and it rebooted. Don't touch anything. Um, so just let it completely reboot. And um, I'm just going to close that. And we'll come back in. A, we'll come back in a minute and see what happens. All right, continuing with the installation, I'm going to press on using Express Settings and let it go. All right, um, continuing with the installation. So what I've chosen is, I've ch uh, click on back. I'm going to choose join the local Active Directory. Click on Next. Uh, let's put the name of the PC. Uh, let's just call it. I don't, I don't know. I'm going to call it. I'm going to call it PC. I'm not going to put a password. I don't have to worry about it. I'm just going to go in immediately. So this way we don't have to deal with a password logging in. If you want, you can put in your own password. And that's it. So now you got Windows 10. And uh, I'll be back in a second. We'll continue. All right. So um, we're, all mo we're all done pretty much. So now we're just going to join a network. So if you have a network at home, just click on yes. And it should be able to pick up your network and uh, we're all good to go. So in a minute, we'll go over and what you, and we'll, <clears throat> well, let's talk about it right now. Uh, here's your start menu. Okay. And you can do everything that you need to do right here. You can do, you can install your apps, um, do all your exercises, your lab. So anytime you have a lab or you need to do anything, you go right in here and you can always do it. Right in here. If you need to do, if you set up a password, just go in input keyboard. This is how you do control all delete. Okay. You can do it directly. So just to go to input and keyboard and control all delete. If you have a USB drive, just plug it in and go to devices, USB, and it will, you know, you can install it right in here. So depending, you typically will pick it up. And once you choose it, it'll be able to be recognized and you can download and upload stuff on it immediately. All right. Uh, when you done, when you are done, just go to start and power and turn it off. Okay. Don't just shut it off. So we're going to shut that off. And that's it. Now you got Windows 10. You can for 90 days. This is applicable to, you know, you can download this and install it on a magazine.